Hey everybody, Ophelos here. Welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we did some side quests around, um, uh, Temperantia. And, pretty much that. Just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. And this time, well, we're going to be doing some more side quests. Now, this next side quest, I don't remember where he is. I'm starting to use bad menuing again. Um, okay, it is out this way. And this time, well, more like fellas were death. We have Oom on here. Mm hmm. Sounds like something's, sounds like something's wrong. What do you think, Pandoria? All right. There's nothing else for it. Loaned out boats not returned. Boats not sold. Sorry, boats not sold. Boats sold, not paid for yet. Just built, bo just built boats get all smashed up. Hmm. And if that's not enough, someone ransacked Uman's shipyard too. Uman no longer have will to live. All Uman good for now is reabsorb life force back into Cloud Sea. Uman not care who wrecks his ship anymore. Meh meh. Goodbye, cruel world. No. We'll help you out. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Meh meh. You help me jump into Cloud C? No, no, no. Okay. Maybe if Umon had a new boat to fix up, would not ha would not have to be at end of own rope. The hopes of the oh, but hopes of that are deader than fried fish. Who might not have green pollen orbs anymore? That means no new titans will come. We'll do everything in our power. Meh meh. Tora and friends look for new titan for Uman. Okay, then Uman not jump into Cloud Sea just yet. Should probably make body heavier to hasten to Maya's anyway. Uman go and force down many tasty meals in canteen at Grod Residential Zone. Well, we gotta go help out Uman. He is not in a good situation right now. And Nia. Yeah, oof. So. Um. Where the heck? Okay, I think he's up here. Onwards. Yeah, my memory is not the best right now. So in order to start out this little side quest, where we need to go is right back here to the informant. Welcome, friends. Sorry, Turuni has info of all kinds. Provide any info for right price. Alright, um... Gourmati recipes? Sure, why not? Wash up Titans is what you really want. So, Gourmati recipe is more stuff for, um, Pyro to cook. Wash up Titans is what we need for the side quest. Alright, then. So, look for Wash up Titan by, uh... By Flower Patch and Gourmati. Got it. Alright. I think it's upper level right. Um, come to think of it, I might require high tide. Which, if that's the case, I need to go rearrange my party. Yeah, we need high tide. Crap. Yeah, I am so disorganized today. I don't even know what's come over me. Normally, I'm sharp as attack, but now um, I literally have one stuck up my arse. So we need to take a long rest. And sure, I could level everyone up, but meh. We'll be level up soon enough anyways. And I want to save my level ups for... Not right now. Alright then. So with now it's high tide, we can now finally... Finally, head where we need to go. And eh, I'll just huff it. Let us go. So the area we need to go to is right down here in the level 40 zone. Oof. Yeah, I would bring out more better blades, but I really don't have any right now. And hey look, it's another Titan. Wow, three of them. Right for the picking. 
Hello, lot. Um, not looking fine. This one's looking alive, though. Hey, the friend. Grabs, look. This thing's still alive. Ah, so it is. Hmm. <laughs> ah, yes. You've been through the wars, haven't you? You can understand it. Just about. It said he was attacked by monsters and he got beached here. His companions weren't quite as lucky. Oh. Think we can haul it over to Uman's place? Hmm. It could be the best thing for him, Rex. Better than leaving him alone in that. alone like that in any case. Can you still remember how to make friends with Titans? Um. Take control as a driver. Give it a melon. No, it's green up, green pollen orb. Exactly so. Heh <laughs> Not on sure have interesting customs, huh? It's a sight better than what those Ardanians do for sure. Hang on, I think I still got a green pollen orb kicking around somewhere. Here, grubs up. It's asking for more, Rex. Must be pretty hungry. Ah, greed guts. Well, that's the last of them. Hmm, it's cheered up quite a bit, though. Hmm, very interesting. Says it's happy to tug boats. Great. Okay, let's get to Uman shipyard. Oh boy. Hmm, could that be the same one who attacked the Titans? So it saw this one was still alive and is now coming back to finish it off. Rex, looks like you better take care of it. Got it. Everyone, get ready. Alright then, so we have Titan Hunting Lexos. Really? Shackle Driver. Alright. Get dunked on. All right. Jet breath. How am I getting hit by that? All right. All right. Shiba, go ahead and get a good damage out. All right. Getting there. This battle's not terrible. All right, steam explosion, sure. Yeah, all my fun blades are out. And I don't want to use Dahlia. All right. Chain attack, finish things out. All right. Shiba, have at it. Chromark. And sure, Bridget. But I want my overkill. It's fun. Pandoria, finish him out. Nice. Really stacking up the damage. And who needs camera? And Veil. Nice, level ups. Hmm. You're all right. You're going to be just fine. You know the way. Clever girl. Well, if you know where to go, we'll meet you there with Uman. Thanks. Awesome. Let's tell Uman that we have found a titan for him. All right. And they still hanging around. Meh. Meh. Holy crap. That's a lot of stuff. I mean, I'll take it. So, nothing really else I want to do here. So, let's go ahead and turn in the side quest. Yeah, Taurus House. Oh! I just realized. Tadazo and Lila are up. Hey. Now that Lila's all good and fixed, Tadazo pondering what to do next. Should probably improve Lila more, or work on power up for Poppy. Too many enticing options. I just realized Lila's back up. Hey. 
Thanks to friends, Lila is in work perfect working order again. Must offer great apologies for causing tr trouble caused by Lila. Things that happened to Moradin all quite unfortunate. Lila not know how to apologize enough, though. Worry not. From now on, Lila work hard to serve Master Planet's artificial blade. Awesome. So Lila is all in perfect order. So the area we need to go to is not over here. Probably would have been faster to just fall fall over, but meh. I prefer the scenic route. Now I'm down here. Let's see if I can buy them out. Nope. Not looking like it. Nope. Yeah, I've been buying out a lot of places off screen, but over here is Uman, who is having quite the feast. We made light work of this one. Aren't we just the best? My lady, sometimes modesty is the cardinal virtue. Meh, meh, meh. Friends found Titan for Uman? Oh, it no good anyway. Even with Titan, no good without hole. There's no point of to anything. You might not have strength to build one for self. Those days long gone. We do everything in our power. Friends can construct hole. But that very big job must collect all required bits and build them all together. Alright. Building this thing, that probably too difficult job for friends. Bulk of Uman, very weighty now. Day of casting self into oblivion, very near. Well, when you think of it, we have some rec missions available. So, with these merc missions, we need to do some building. Hooray. Alright, we have 20 minutes to burn. So you know what that means. Let's find a new side quest to do. Alright then. So starting out here we're at, um, Baldotis Island. The area we need to go to is somewhere over here. Okay. Next island over. So, upon hopping over here... We have a side quest that's popped up. Right over here with a bunch of, uh... Um... And caterpillars, I guess. So we have Maiden Voyage. No words, just action, but appears that the blade is injured. Okay. Yep, Elika's. Alright. So not really too much here. I'm probably just going to skip out the rest of this battle. Not really too much. We could have done this on our first um, go through here, but I was focusing on other area on other things. All right, we're just about done here. So these characters aren't these enemies aren't really too bad. I do some searching up. So one thing that they can do. They topple themselves. And get launched. How do you like that? Alright. We're ready for Dynamic Spark Sword. And, um, Pandoria, you're really going to town there. Yikes. Okay. So we have Ola here. Oh goodness, thank you, you really saved me. My name is Ola, you can probably tell I'm a blade. Nice to meet you. Um, what happened to your driver? Oh, you noticed. My driver is a wonderful young man named Reed. He is still a novice driver, not as strong as you. Nor is he much of a swordsman yet. When, when, so when facing danger, he tends to run away. But a mox Elica caught him unaware from behind, and sent him tumbling down into the cloud sea. Wow, that sucks. Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm still alive, so he must be too. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. Do you, per do you think you would be able to perhaps look for Reed? He might, not he might be fine now, but if he got attacked by a monster, he's a sitting duck. Alright, 
we'll take care of it. There's a chance that Reed may return on his own steam, so I'll wait here just in case he does. So we need to look for Reed. Thankfully, quest markers exist. So we can avoid all the fumbling around and just go right to Reed. You might be aware that there's been a couple islands that I've kind of skipped. At least on the main map. The reason why is because we'll be heading there anyways. So the first area we need to go to, as I'm wandering around these rocks, is right down to that island. Thankfully, the Titan is kind enough to provide a nice enough ramp to make it ourselves there. So, here at, um, Mercy Bay Islet, we'd bet to meet someone here. Yeah? I've lost my blade, so I'm waiting here until she shows up. So here's the thing, yeah? Oh, what? Well, I told you to come find me. You okay? As you can see, I'm doing just dandy. But I don't want to go back to Ola. She's going... She's always on me like, train up, get stronger. I've had enough of her nagging. Even just now, when I got knocked into the cloud sea by Mox Elica. Sending you just proves it. She thinks I can't get back on my own. She told me... We had to go on a training mission. So you've been doing some travel? I have they got any stronger. Not a bit. And Ula doesn't trust me at all. I don't want to be a driver anymore. Um. Yeah, it's fine to be weak at your age. I know I'm just a kid, but... I wonder if I... If I could get... If I could get as strong as... You as if I tried really hard. Or not. Okay. I'll go back to Ola for, for now. And tell her not to be so annoying. Alright then. So I'm just wandering around this island. Ah, there is treasure here. And nothing to note, right? Yeah, just common core. Alright, can I get back on my own? Come, winds. Yep. Lend me your transient fleeting aid. So that island over there we will save for later. Just know that there's an annoying unique monster on that island. Oof. And I'll save a bit more exploration for a bit later. Um, uh, I don't think you'll see me. No, I'm fine. Alright. More Elika's around. Now, where is... There they are. Um, where's the kid? Oh, there he is. Reed, I'm glad you're all right. Sorry for worrying you. Indeed, if you trained up and just, just got a little stronger, I wouldn't have to worry so much. No, you gotta stop with that, Ola. Didn't this just prove it? I'm no driver. Not yet. But I've got to get strong like these guys before I can go off on journeys and such. But the training tips are how you become strong, Reed. Aye, there's a limit. Let's travel after I've learned how to sword fight and, and what have you. You've got it all backwards. It's like you're asking me to make a banquet when I can't even hold a knife. If you put your mind to it, though, everyone's got to start somewhere. The most important thing is taking the first step. Ah. Let's talk about this later. We should be thankful for these fine people. I don't care, whatever. I'm going home. You can do your training mission alone. Young man. Ah, uh, here's something by way of thanks. I hope we meet again sometime so we can th talk properly. Here's hoping they sort everything out eventually. <laughs> Emphasis on the eventually. So we've completed Maiden Voyage. Alright then. Ooh, Gungnir Warriors are back. Hooray, I can get some better blades on right now. Alright, got ten minutes left to burn. There's just one thing that's been itching at me. And that's over here. Yeah, there's a little bit of a platform I didn't see on my first go through. So we're going to head and take that. Um, how's our levels? Um, you know what? I'm going to put more egg in the front. Alright. 
Reason why I won't have more egg in front is just so that way I'm not so aggroed. So I'll meet you guys on the next island. Alright then. So if this is how I think it's going to play out. Nope, not going to make it. Okay, now I know what to do. So this next bit, I was doing a little bit of intuition. And where we need to go is actually right up here. Just hopefully, we make the cycle. I missed it. Gosh darn it. I'll see you guys here once this thing completes the cycle. Alright, here it comes. What you want to do is wait for this platform to go underneath. Hop on it. You know what? I'll take this. <laughs> okay, that was amazing. So what you want to do is wait for this platform to make it another cycle. Again, a bit of a time loss, but not overly concerning. So there's nothing on that island. Don't jump off yet. Instead, what you want to do is wait for this platform to make another cycle. Now, it would be very awkward if this goes underneath. No, it looks like we're going over. Yeah, we are. Okay, yeah, so again, this is just an auto-scroller. Yay, speedrunners and auto-scrollers. They go hand in hand. Anyways, enough with the, all that, I guess, useless pandering done. What, why, uh, why I'm taking this platform is for that thing over there. I, I knew this was here. I, it just escaped my mind, more or less. So we gotta wait for this thing to make its full cycle. Be careful. Don't jump off early. Instead, you want to delay your jump. Just so that way you won't take as much fall damage. Alright. Now. Alright then. This is for so, day. inside this giant treasure trove, we get ourselves... Rare? I was expecting legendary! Wah. Well, we gotta wait anyway, so... See you guys once the Merc mission comes back. On second thought... Before we do that, we have an island over there. I guess I can get this on the map. I really don't want to take on the unique monster that's on this island, but... I guess it's just nice to get it on the map. So, you want to take this island on the far entrance. Not the entrance closest to the uh, main islands. The one that's more in the back because the unique monster spawns on this side. I don't want to take him on right now because he has a nasty spike and has like a million health. Let us face the day with a renewed vigor. Ah, daytime. Fun. So, upon writing... Upon heading here, we're at the Little Garden of Tradition. There's nothing here except for the Unique Monster, which I don't really don't want to fight right now, so... I'll see you guys somewhere else. And by somewhere else, I mean inside this factory. So I'm just going to be opening up the remaining treasure chest here. That's all. First one's near near is this Panic Room, since we finally have a Rare Blade with Super Strength. Could have opened this up in a bit a bit later, but meh. Clear this up quick. All right, inside here, common core, meh. All right, last area is going to be over here at this rusted door. Patience is my strong. We need fortitude and super strength, which we have. Openy, openy. All right, and that's a nice little shortcut back to the entrance. Will be useful for a little bit when we make a uh, return here. Inside this treasure chest, nothing to note, right? Wow. I came in here expecting nothing and even then I was still disappointed. Yeah, we couldn't even enter this, this thing, right? Yeah, because the door's right here. Disappointed! All right. So here, I decided to go back to Mardane, to the mainland, just to see what we can open up. 
Inside this very dark room. This is for a just Nothing really here. I mean... Level 30 uh, sleeping ass bar, but... Oh, Vestige of Light. Do more than just beat enemy Interesting. There's hardly any of these in around in the game. I like, I think there's only like two more Vestiges of Light. Come on, come to mama. I mean, when the only Light Rare Blade we have right now... Well, I guess the only Light Blade we technically have right now is Mithra. Which is one of the only two, I think, for that you can have for the main game that's not DLC. So, yeah. The other one... <laughs> we'll get to the other one later. So, I'm just going to go ahead and open this door from the other side. Don't ask me how this works. Alright, cool. They're back. Nope. A little hasty with that. All right then. Now I start prepping it for the build. I'll All right. Well with yeah, yeah. Common blades. So with that done, our next mission is to get craftsman skills. So now we need to prepare the wood. Hooray! All right. I got half an hour to burn. See you all around somewhere else. Hooray! Killing time! Alright. And now that's what I call a titan ship. So, about this. I'm in an awkward position. The reasoning behind this is, well, Uman bounces back. I actually had to record the next episode of waiting for these remaining things to come back. And you'll see it next time. Hooray, I actually know what happens in the next episode before I finish this episode. Meh. Well, probably should let Uma know that his uh, stuff is back. Hey, Uman. Everything's all working out. Friends have good timing. Soon bill for food, exceed finances, or er, Uman means should reach appropriate weight to sink nicely into Cloud C. It's fine. Uman already put T Tora's name on tab. Uman all set to convert body into biomass. What the hell, Uman? So here's the thing. Friends complete all! Worry not, the situation has been taken care of. Oh, this, this feels like reason for Uman to continue li living. What the? Uh, apologies, excitement make Uman bilious. This is something Uman must see with own eyes, else Uman not sleep easy in cloudy grave. Friends must come to Uman's shipyard. And who's going to clean up this mountain of food? Yikes. Alright then, so back here in the shipyard. Um, hey Uman, everything's looking all nice and dandy, right? Meh meh meh! This, this is Titan! It's real Titan ship! Such trifling matters are no trouble at all. Single Titan ship standing proud in, sh in shipyard. This reminds Uman of younger days. Uman can feel will to live returning to body! Enough talk of throwing self into Cloud C. We start over from scratch. And that's another problem all sorted out. Very sorry for... Very sorry friends have to see Uman in, in such sorry state. Uman, ready to find new customers and start cracking at business again. Thank friends very much. Uman, work hard to pay off tab at food place. Well, Uman really bounced back. Hooray! Wow, that's a really good amount of experience and some good items. And Uman is probably back at his area. Alright then. And with that, we made pretty good progress this, progress this episode. We managed to, well, help Uman bounce back, did a bit more um, side questing, more exploration, and all that jazz. Next time in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Well, we got a little blade quest with a certain favorite blade of mine. 
I will see you guys then.